Hi there and welcome to my 11th tutorial on JavaScript and in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about if statements and I'm going to show you how to build your if statement but also I'm talking about I'm going to talk about the if statement itself why we use it and stuff like this and so if statement is as in every programming language allows us to select uh, set selection uh, for actions to be taken depending on the condition and uh, to be more simply if statement allows us to execute an action uh, when the condition is true, otherwise the, con the statement will be omitted, so it will be left behind. And um, this is called the selection or conditional programming, um, because till now we have learned a sequence programming uh, as the tags and, and statements you used were read line by line, so you have line by line execution that's a sequence, now you will learn a conditional or selectional programming, which is if statements. And to create an if statement, um, we write the keyword if, and then the condition in the bracket, uh, and follows that follows after the, the condition, then uh, we have a curly bracket in between which we state our actions. So for example, um, let's have a variable, because we will use variables with uh, if statements, so for example, number equals zero for now. And let's say if statement, and then the condition, you specify the condition, like number is equal to five, let's say. And then curly bracket, like so. So this is the if statement, a pretty basic one. And you have a number which is equal to five. And if that is true, the action between those curly brackets will be executed. Now this doesn't mean equal. Just assign number to five, five to the number. That doesn't mean that you don't assign the number. You just check if this is the same as this. So this is a simple compare statement. Is that that's why it's called and uh, double equal sign. Remember, and <clears throat> it's used to compare the values. If this is the same as this, it's true. Then just print out execute the actions. So that's how they use statement. For example, um, if I say document dot write and print out something, um, let's say number is equal five. Now this will not be true at the moment, and that is due to the value of the number. It's zero. So that if I show you this, uh, you won't see anything. F five, nothing. But if I change the number to 5 and save it, you will see the text. So number is equal 5. And that's how the if statement works. Now, as you can as you could see, the statement was not printed out when the number was 0 because the condition was false. Therefore, it's uh, not as a sequence because a um, because the condition was false. This was never checked. This was never uh, the this if statement never and um, program never entered the if statement. It just moved here, and because there is nothing here, uh, it was simply print. Um, it simply does, did nothing. So that's how the if statement worked. Uh, and that was an, a simple if statement. Uh, but those statements are not limited to just the if, this if statement, and uh, we can also add else if. And the else if statement is pretty much the same as if uh, we also set the condition. And uh, the difference is that it always cr we always create the else if after the if statement. So the else if comes after the if statement. It also has a condition, and and it works pretty much the same way. It, it has the same rules applies to it, and um, but the functionality is a bit different because in this one, this statement has to be falsified. It has to be false. For this to be executed so it's not like all of them are checked at the same time so else if for example right like this also condition so you set the condition for example number is equal zero let's say this time i will change the condition i will change the number again to zero and show you this so we again have this curly brackets and again action and i will just copy this just to show you print out and number is equal to zero so as you can see, we have now two statements and this is like stored one over the other. So those are connected basically. 
and if this is false this will be checked and if true and uh, the, 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 um, the string will be printed out otherwise again nothing will be printed out like the last time of course the string is the the condition will be true because I changed the value so if I save this and I show you this you will see the number is equal zero so the condition now which is uh, executed this is checked it's true and the statement which is executed is this one now so this one is completely omitted because the condition is false and this one is executed and uh, so what about the other cases about other uh, statements we didn't set uh, as a conditions um, for example if we have if we set two or three conditions but you also want to do some kind of statement which executes a piece of action uh, if those conditions are wrong and uh, well of course we can do that and with the help of else statement now imagine you have else uh, if and else statement here now action below here out, um, uh, outside of those statements will be executed all the time that is due being outside of those statements therefore for example if if statement is true if this is true the the statements below here for example print out something will be always executed again if this is false and this is false this will be executed but if you want to be if you want to execute something only if those are false then you have to add else statement the else statement doesn't contain the condition because it covers everything else that those above it didn't so if we say for example print out something and we say nothing and just number is equal and i will change the number so that it doesn't equal five or zero so two for example the number doesn't equal 5, doesn't equal 0, so this statement has to be printed out. And just to show you that, um, what I mean is, look, if I print out something here, just a number like this, this will always be printed, even if I say, if I choose to have a true value. As you can see, the number is equal and the number is printed here. It's a bit um, crumbled, but let me just add a break statement and not here. I'll add it here and um, PR and show you again. So basically this one is the else statement is executed and then this, which is outside of if statement and else and uh, else if uh, is executed as well. Now, if one of those statements is true, so if I change it to five, the last statement will also be executed. So at five, the last statement is also executed, which is outside of the if. If none of those are true, so let's delete those elf, else, sorry, and change it to two and save it, this statement will still be executed. Others not, but this one still executed. So that's why you use else. If you want to execute something only if, uh, if uh, those conditions are false. So else is here. And just let me just move this one there. Oh. Can I move it? Let's see, I will just copy it then. Okay. So that's how you can build your statement. Of course, else comes at the end of your if, always, all the time, all the time you, you put else. You don't have to, of course, it will work. But if you want to, if you need to, you put your else at the end of the statement, at the end of the if uh, structure, and then it will be executed only if all those conditions above are simply false. So that's how your else statement works. Now, as I said, else if, you don't need to put just one you don't need to put them at all you can just omit this one else else if and write else like this if else you can also do something like this so it's not limited to that kind of build you can actually vary your your statement how you build it so it's quite flexible and um yeah that's pretty much it about the if statements and um, 
we also have uh, something that um, allows us to set different conditions. Now, I showed you one sign for the condition. The sign I showed you is to compare all of them up to compare it, the values. But this one means if this number is the same as this. So uh, there are other conditions uh, you can set. For example, if the number is less than five. So if number is less than five, then the condition is true. If it's not, it will just move on to a different statement and check them and so on. So this is a different type of a condition now. You can also have a number is more than a five. So for example, now number has to be more than five. So this condition will be false as number is not more than five, it's equal. Therefore, um, this will not be executed, but you can set the condition like this in your programs. So it's um, pretty um, uh, valid. Uh, also, you can do a joint signs. So for example, if you have um, you have a value which you want to say, okay, I want this value to be a more than or equal to. So what you can do is you say more than or equal like this. This means more than or equal. And now if number is more than or equal five, in this case it is, this action will be executed. Now, what I told you at the beginning, I should tell you, I think I didn't, is that when one of those statements is executed, all of other statements are just simply left out. So for example, even if this is executed, this one is left uh, out and it doesn't even check it. So for example, if one of those is checked and it's true, then everything else is omitted. Nothing else gets checked, nothing else gets executed. So only one. Now, if you want, if you do some, if you do only without an else if and else, just if statements, each and every if statement will be executed. If you have only if statements like so. So this one is if statement, then you have again if statement and if statement and so on. Without the else if and else. And this will check each and every if statement. But if you have a structure like this one, with if, else, if, and else, only one of those will be executed. The rest of them will be omitted and left behind. Okay, so that's that's that, and and that's how you can create your different conditions. But also there is one more operator, actually three more operators, which I'm going to show you. One of them is a not operator. Not operator is a it simply flips like the condition. So for example, when you have normal equal equal sign, this means that the number for the condition to be true number has to equal five, right? Now, if not equal means that number cannot equal five. It can equal anything but five. So this one now is not true with this uh, value because it equals five. And the condition states number cannot equal five for this to be executed. Of course, um, you can use it with different signs as well, not more than. Uh, or not less than, not equal is, I think, a uh, most common, uh, but nevertheless. You have also two more uh, operators which allow you to uh, to build your condition in, in any of those statements a bit more. So you can put it like an, it's an advanced condition. So for example, if you don't want to add another else if for another condition, because you have to add, for example, 10 else ifs, which is not very sufficient. Instead, you can add an or uh, or end operator. So or operator looks like this. This is an or operator. And if I put something like this, for example, number is uh, equal equal. Let's say zero. So let's say zero. Uh, let's say five. Let's let's keep it like this. And and then change this one. Okay. So for example, now this will check if the number is equal to 5 or if the number is equal to 0. Now, if the number is equal to 5 or 0, this becomes true. So if I say 5 here, this will be true. If I say 0 as a value, it will still be true. So if I say 5, I'll save that and show you, and 5. So number is equal 5, and if I change it to 0, this one will be executed again. Uh, yeah, it's executed again. 
number is equal five because right, you can see that those two conditions are the same, right? But this is the first statement. This is the first statement and it, it becomes true. This is the very, very um, good, uh, uh, well, let's say, example that I talked about because one of those statements is only executed. So if this is true, this is executed. As you can see, those conditions are the same. But this didn't get executed. That is because only one of those is executed, as I said previously. Okay, so that's how you can, uh, that, that is how you can use this OR operator. It means OR. So this OR, either this has to be true. Now the END operator is a bit different. And uh, where is the END? There it is. Okay, END operator, double END uh, sign. And um, END operator um, is uh, this um, condition will only be true if both of those values are true. So if none of those values, uh, if only one or none are true, those conditions, nothing will be executed. Both both or more, if you have more, you can add more, you can add another uh, end here, and it's not uh, limited to just one, but um, it, it, the, the, all the statements here has to be true, has to be valid true uh, for the action to be executed. Otherwise, it's false and uh, different uh, else, for example, can be checked or else will be executed. So that's how it works with those operators. And as I said, you can have, for example, more than zero equals five, something like this. And, and that's pretty much the if statements. That's pretty much it about this tutorial as well, because um, I talk about most of the stuff you can use with the if statements, with the operators, uh, with the build. Uh, how you can use it, how you can use it. You can use it for validations mostly. And um, I, when the forms come uh, in future tutorials with JavaScript, we'll have forms with JavaScript. I will show you how you can um, use if statements to set the values and uh, print out different things. For example, on the form, uh, or ask uh, the user for password. For example, you can ask user for password, and if valid or not valid, you print out the message, for example, box message or something like this. You can, I will show you how to ask for input for, from the user without the form as well. So a couple of useful things, you can do that and that will be in the future, in the future tutorials. And so this is the end of the tutorial. Visit my webpage and YouTube channel for more tutorials. As always, um, uh, if, you like to, if you like my videos, subscribe on the channel or my videos. And as always, um, have a nice time and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.